Hi, I'm Claude Warnick, and I'm a lecturer in the Faculty of Mathematics, and I'm also the Anthony Lister Fellow of Mathematics at Queen's College. I teach mathematics from first year undergraduate all the way up to PhD students, and I also do research in general relativity and partial differential equations. If you're watching this video, hopefully it's because you're interested in applying for a mathematics degree, uh, and hopefully that's because you've done some mathematics at school and you've enjoyed it. Now, maths at university level is a little bit different. It's both deeper, but also broader than the mathematics that you've learned already. Deeper in the sense that we dig much more into the foundations of the subject, trying to understand why things are the way they are, um, but also broader in the sense that mathematics gets applied to all kinds of different things, both in physics, biology, and other sciences. So to take a couple of examples, one that you're probably quite familiar with at the moment, mathematics is used to model the spread of diseases through a population, and that's obviously a, a very topical issue uh, right at the moment. Um, but mathematics is also used in theoretical physics to understand fundamental particles, and even to model the fundamental nature of space and time. Now, mathematics at Cambridge is uh, an excellent course to uh, really take advantage of all of the breadth and depth of mathematics. Uh, there are many, many courses that you can take, particularly by the third year. There's lots of different options. So I encourage you to take a look at the, uh, the list of courses that are available to the undergraduates. Um, in Cambridge, we have this dual system where the lecturing is mainly done at the university level by the faculty, um, but we also have a smaller group teaching, which is done by the colleges. So one of the things that uh, Queen's is particularly uh, good for is that we not only have uh, the supervision, so these are a small, um, uh, small groups of two or three uh, students together with one supervisor, typically either a fellow or else maybe uh, for some of the, the more advanced courses, a PhD student or a postdoctoral researcher. Um, and uh, we have these uh, supervisions, which are, are fairly standard to all the colleges. Uh, but at Queen's in the first two years, we also run classes. So there's a little bit of an extra opportunity um, for students to um, engage with uh, the, the fellows and, and supervisors, uh, and a little bit of extra opportunity to ask questions and to learn about the subject. Um, Queen's is one of the, the larger um, colleges as far as undergraduate mathematicians is concerned. We typically have um, maybe 12 to 14 students uh, in a year group uh, and this has, uh, this has a few advantages. Um, it's large enough that there's a good group of people to uh, get to know, to share your experience of uh, learning mathematics with and to talk to about uh, the mathematics that you're learning, um, but it's also small enough that it still feels like a, a friendly size. So for the, uh, the small group teaching, Queen's is a really excellent uh, environment uh, for mathematicians. Um, and more broadly, beyond just the mathematicians, it's also just a really uh, friendly and nice place uh, to spend time studying as an undergraduate. Uh, there's always a, a good friendly spirit amongst all the students and between students and staff and fellows. Um, I particularly enjoy all of the, uh, the interactions that uh, we have between the, the fellows and the students. We have a, a math society that puts on uh, evening events and, and talks and so on and gives us a chance to really uh, share between ourselves how much we enjoy uh, our subject. Um, one of the questions that uh, I'm often asked at uh, open days is what we're looking for in an application. So. First and foremost, what we're really trying to do when we're assessing the applications is to choose the, the best mathematicians that we can. So uh, the main thing we want to see in your application is evidence that you like mathematics uh, and that um, you're going to be able to work at the standard to uh, get the most out of the, the course here in Cambridge. So um, in particular, um, we'll be looking at um, GCSE grades and uh, any evidence like that. Um, we'll also be interested in your personal statement if you've uh, done anything a little bit beyond. Maybe you've done a, um, a maths challenge or a maths olympiad. 
um, or you have a particular interest and have read up on something uh, specific or something like that. So we want to really see that uh, that you're interested in mathematics and also that you've um, you've taken some time and, and put some effort into uh, developing your understanding and knowledge of the subject. We're also interested in any um, extracurricular activities that you might have done, but predominantly what we're assessing the, uh, um, the applications on is mathematical uh, mathematical potential. So we want to choose the students who have the, the best potential to be successful in the course in Cambridge. So typically, um, once you've uh, submitted your uh, forms, um, we take a look through those uh, and then we decide uh, on a subset of the applicants to invite for interview. Now, um, these interviews are a chance for us to uh, see a bit how applicants think. So they'll typically uh, be two interviews over the course of a day. We usually involve um, two of the fellows or supervisors at the college uh, and we'll normally talk to uh, each student for around 20 to 25 minutes. And we'll, we'll ask questions predominantly about mathematics and what we're really interested in seeing is how you approach problems. Uh, and in particular, how you approach a problem that maybe you've not seen before or maybe you've not been shown a method uh, to immediately solve. What we'd like to see uh, is how you think about problems because the, the main thing that we're um, trying to, to get at is to assess the, the potential for mathematics. So we want to see that you can really think through a problem that you've maybe not seen before. One of the big differences at Queen's compared to other colleges is that we're quite happy for our applicants to take a gap year. Um, lots of other colleges uh, prefer that for mathematics people don't take gap years uh, but we don't think that there's really any uh, downside to having a gap year if that's what you'd like to do. Um, of course, we would expect that towards the end of that gap year, you put in a little bit of time to revise some of the work that uh, you did at school so that you arrive uh, ready and raring to go. Um, but uh, at the application stage, we're very happy for people to apply um, for mathematics with a year out.